Upgrade to shore, non-stop protection. The Lionesses are preparing to face Colombia on Saturday in the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup following their dramatic penalty shootout win over Nigeria. Our reporter Anton Tolui has been for a stroll on the beach near England's training base at Terrigal on the central coast. Not a bad gig that is. He's going Not for bad. Lovely <laughs> strolls on the beach. And guess who he bumped into? It is a day away from the training pitch for the England players. Some are getting some R&R, some are spending time with the families. Neve Charles... We've interrupted your lovely walk on the beach, so apologies for that, but thanks for talking to us today. First off, my word, as fans, we were put through the ring the other night. How are you all physically, emotionally, mentally after that battle in Brisbane? Yeah, I think physically, of course, it was a massive demand and, yeah, it was 120 minutes that the workload was immense. Um, but, yeah, we've come out with a win and that always makes it a little bit easier to sort of get over the physical, but... Yeah, it was a massive shift from the team and we're really pleased that we're still here and looking ahead to the next game. Have you ever had such a sense of relief after a game? Um, I think I, I, I did just have belief in the girls as well. It was obviously put, it was, yeah, tense at times, but I think, yeah, we were definitely relieved to sort of get on to the next stage, but also I know how hard the girls work and how resilient they are, so it was just nice to see them do it on a big stage. But obviously, the big talk point around the game was, of course, sending off Lauren James. I saw the statement from her and, and from the team yesterday. So I'm just wondering how she is and how you as a team have sort of come together, I suppose. Yeah, obviously, she's really remorseful, and I think she said that in a statement. And, of course, as a team, we've just got round her, and she's put out a statement and apologised. And she's such a positive person, and it's, yeah, it's not what she's like at all. So it happens, the stakes are so high, and, yeah, I think we're just getting around her, and then hopefully the next few days we'll sort of see what happens and... But, yeah, we're just supporting her as much as possible. But she's in good spirits after, yeah, having just hopefully moving on from it. That's really good to know. Colombia next. We now know it's Colombia in Sydney on Saturday night. What kind of tough test are you expecting? Yeah, I think I've watched some of the games and, first of all, the atmosphere their fans are creating, it's immense. So that will be amazing. Um, but, yeah, they're a really, really good side. And I think they've played some top and beaten some top opposition. So it's definitely going to be a really, really tough game, and but one we're really looking forward to. And finally, Neve, I suppose look, we've seen the evolution of this England team during the tournament. We've seen changes, we've seen different formations. Does that kind of give you hope individually that you're like, I can, I can make a big impact at this tournament? I think whatever happens, everyone's just got to be ready. So I think, yeah, we've seen the changes and they work really well, obviously. And I think whatever happens in the next few games, we're all going to be ready, no matter what Serena decides. So definitely, if called upon, we'll all be ready. Excited? Yeah, really excited. This is the sort of the business end, and yeah, we're really excited. I love it. That is the business end. We're not ready to go home. I'm sure you're not ready to go home. It's going to be a massive, massive game against Colombia on Saturday night. Lee, I'll let you get back to a day off. Stay spend some time with the beach, the family, sandcastles, ice cream, <laughs> the works? Yeah, everything. We were bodyboarding the other day, so maybe again. Of course, of course, pro football. It has to do something <laughs> active, don't they? Yeah.